Hello, my beautiful bubbles, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are back on Fiverr yet again because I am going to be hiring someone to steal my Bloxburg build. Now hold up, let me explain myself because that's a bit of a confusing title. I found this Fiverr page where they said, I will build you a Bloxburg house off of a YouTube speed build. And if you are an OG on my channel, you would know that I used to do speed builds a little bit. I wasn't that good though, and I haven't really improved. So my mind got racing and thinking that, hmm, I could hire this person to recreate my 2019 speed builds, which are super outdated and really ugly, but that's the whole point. I also don't have these plots anymore, so it would be cool to kind of have it again. It's like a relic of time. I don't even know what a relic of time means. Hold on. A relic of time is used to summon greater beings of of what? Uh <laughs> something that has survived the, from the past, such as an object or custom. Okay, I think I used the word right. <laughs> Anyways, the house I chose was this one called Simple San Francisco Home. It's really basic, super ugly and outdated, but I don't have any newer speed builds, so we're gonna have to make this do. And it also won't be too challenging for them because it looks like they do some crazy stuff. Anyways, I'm going to order their cheapest package for only $15 and we're gonna fill out the information together as a little family together okay so this is the part where I need to be a little sketchy because if I tell them my real Roblox account they're gonna know that this is my own YouTube video and it, I'm gonna be exposed so I'm gonna use my mom's Roblox account which hasn't been used in a few years sorry mom and they're asking for my discord username optional optional so Two optionals equal an optional. That is such a weird word now that I say it over and over again. But I guess this is all the information they need, so I'm gonna start my order. I just realized my profile on Fiverr, this app, is under simplybubbly underscore YT, so I need to change that somehow. My description even says I'm a YouTuber. I need to delete that. I'm just gonna say hello. That's it, that's my description about myself. My username can't be changed on Fiverr, I'm doomed. Okay, I'm just gonna say I'm a massive fan of Simply Bubbly, so I named myself that because I already did the purchase and I can't change it now. Looks like they've already gotten back to me saying, hi, thank you for placing an order. I can add you right now on Roblox. Except Roblox is a little bit broken for me right now. It won't let me log in. Like it says experiences failed to load and I can't really access any of my account because it just logs me out. This is another classic case of broken Roblox. This happens like every single time Adopt Me updates. Nothing out of the usual for us Roblox players. Okay, we are back a few days later. I haven't been able to record with her or get her in the same server as me because Roblox has been broken and I finally have been able to get it to work. However, my outfit is disgusting. She's gonna be very sus of me if I'm dressed like a ninja. So I'm gonna change my outfit outfit to be something a little more aesthetic just so I fit in. I want to be one of the cool high school girls. I wish that I could be like the cool kids. Oh gosh, she's about to join me. Okay, I have to hurry up and get an outfit ready. You know what? This emo girl vibe is good enough. Let's get some hair that is not blue and short. Okay, here is the grand reveal of my outfit. Pretty basic, but it looks nothing like me, so it works. Now we just wait until she joins the game. Okay, she just joined the server and I'm waiting here all stinky. Where is she? Anyways, I'm going to give her a co-owner and I only have 50 grand for her to work with, but the house I'm having her build is not that expensive. So I think she'll be fine. If she needs more, I can go get money somehow. I'll, I'll go rob from some people. I'm just gonna say, okay, good luck. And I'm gonna get into build mode and I'm going to watch her. That sounds a little bit creepy. <laughs> oh wait, I don't have the advanced placing game pass. So let's hope the build isn't too complicated to where she needs needs it. There she goes. We are back, baby, and it's been a few days later since she originally started building, and I have to say, it was such a pain to be both in the same server. Both of our Wi-Fi sucked. She was, like, going through some, like, thunderstorm while building, and so her power kept cutting out, and so, like, every 20 minutes, we'd have to rejoin the server. It was a pain. Anyway, the house is finished. That's all that matters, and we're gonna go look around at it now because I actually haven't seen this yet. Feeling Aww. down? We'll see if I'm feeling down after I look at this house. I'm real stanky. Okay. 
Okay, so here is the outside of the house. Actually, I need to pull up uh, the speed build so we can compare it. This was built in 2019, so granted, it's really outdated, but we're gonna compare the front to the speed build. So this is what the front here looks like, and I feel like the colors are a little bit off. Mm, maybe not. Maybe I just saturated that video a bunch. And it's kind of depressing outside. I mean, in that video, it was summer and pretty, and um, it's raining, but there's a pretty sunset. Look at that. So I would say she has the outside pretty accurate. Next, when we head inside, there's this entrance way. Now let's look at the video. Okay, it looks like she forgot a window here because I put one here. There's a little curtain and everything. I mean, this is on point. I didn't realize how like under decorated this house is. It's pretty depressing, honestly. When we enter into the living room, I really like the layout of this house. Hold on. I am too stinky. I really need a shower. Is this the shower? No. Not me forgetting the layout to my own house. Um, is there a bathroom? Hello? I cannot find one. Literally none of these rooms have a bathroom. Hold on. I need to go in build mode and look for one. Okay, there's no bathroom downstairs and there's no door to the bathroom upstairs <laughs> How did she just completely miss that? Okay, I'm gonna put down a door because I need to get to the bathroom real quick. Imagine buying a house and then you realize, wait, my bathroom is hidden in the walls and you like really have to go pee. <sighs> that feels a lot better. Okay, I'll resume once I'm done showering. Okay, so this is what the colors look like in the video and this is what they look like in real life. I think she definitely used different lighting, which is why the colors may be a bit off. Cause when I filmed that video, they hadn't updated the horrible lighting where now you have to use linen for everything before you could use whatever color you wanted. The kitchen looks pretty similar. I think she made some adjustments to it. She definitely did. She definitely had a bit of creative freedom with it, which I don't really mind. And she didn't say she would copy the speed bold exactly, but I know some people might be mad that there's not a plant in the kitchen. Instead, it was replaced with a toaster. Who uses a toaster, okay? Plants are superior. We have a tier list here. Here is plants up there. Here is toaster. I could nitpick all the things that she got wrong, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm too nice, guys. No, I'm kidding. How dare she move this window too far this way? It was actually supposed to be right here. Hey, the plants are exactly the same though. <laughs> Moving on upstairs, we have the first bedroom and it looks pretty similar to me. Then over here, we have yet another bedroom. Is this a three bedroom place? Wow, that's pretty nice. And I feel like the colors are a bit off. Okay, it's definitely the lighting again. The lighting kind of ruined this build because it used to be super cute. It's a lot cuter in this photo than it is in person. Me on Instagram versus how I am in real life. And then we have another bedroom over here. Ooh. It is dark. Did she forget to add lighting or did I not add lighting in mine? I think I definitely added lighting in here. And also, did I use carpeting in this build? Oh my gosh, wait, did I? I did. What was wrong with me? Why did I not use wooden flooring? But this view is honestly really nice. I mean, look at our beautiful neighbors. Ooh, is that a place to eat? Actually, I might go there after this. Hold on. Okay, there's something sticking through the wall. Minus one point. Shakes my head. And we couldn't even access the bathroom. It was inside of our walls, but this is what the bathroom like looks like. You already know what it is. How did the toilet not be the exact same how it was in this old build. I'm kidding. I know that's Quepta's fault. Anyway, in all, I think she did a good job. She had a bit of creative freedom with it and she forgot a window right here which makes this space look really blank. But this space is pretty blank in the first place, so. And she used up all my money, which is perfect. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna come over here and order some food. You know what? Some mac and cheese seems really yummy right now for some reason. I love how they're still open at 9 p.m. Such late hours. Oh, this girl is hopping over here to see me. Hello, Bell Anna. 9891 was she born in 9881? <laughs> She's from the future. Is this her plot? Why isn't she letting me in? Hello, I would like some food. I want to order. Uh, you have a lot of leftover food, ma'am. I think you should start cleaning up after yourself. She just kicked me. All I wanted was a mac and cheese. That's it. This is the perfect window to spy on her. My arch nemesis who didn't give me mac and cheese. Anyways, I'm gonna rate this person on how well they did at the service. I would say I'm satisfied. Communication with Seller, I thought she was a good communicator. Every single time we'd both disconnect, we'd let each other know. Service as described, yes, she copied my build. Very friendly and cute Roblox avatar. Wait, I'm forgetting that she forgot to put a door. Anyways, let's send off that feedback and... I'm sorry, I'm not giving a tip. I already paid $17, basically 18 for a Bloxburg house nonetheless. Anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching. And also, please do not come after this girl. Everything I said in this video is just for fun and jokes. And she did a great job. And she didn't do anything wrong. Her service that she was providing was completely fine. I mean, she was giving credits. <gasps> I just earned a cooking skill for making mac and cheese in a microwave. Anyways, what I was saying is that just please don't go after her. She did nothing wrong. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Leave a like and subscribe for more, and I will see y'all later. Bye, my beautiful bubbles.